Hey guys! So today, I'm gonna read a story. Actually, it's true story. First is Frozen Art and Elephant Artist. And the other one is The Music of the Stone Age. So, uh, these both are interesting. So, the first one, Frozen Art and Elephant Artist, are like um, about arts and music of the stone age is about history so let's get started Woo! word of art frozen art does it seem impossible for a block of ice to become a work of art some artists make it happen using special tools the sculpture make interesting figures and shapes out of ice. Ice art is popular in many places around the world. In Harbin, China, nearly a million people attend the Ice Lantern Festival to see the ice sculpture. In Canada, people go to the Winter Carnival in Quebec. Here, they can stay at a hotel made entirely of ice. So the next time it snows, imagine what beautiful artistic treasure you could create. Practice hard and watch your sculpture come to life. You'll see wonderful, one-of-a-kind piece of art. Elephant Artists Think only people can take pictures? Think again. In Thailand, two elephants named Bu Yang and Bird are artists. With paintbrushes clutched in their trunks, they create works of art. You might not think elephants have much talent, but these two are very capable artists. Their painting sell for more than a thousand dollars each. Bu Yang and Bird used to work with people clearing forests, trees, and forests. But the time came when their help was no longer needed. Two human artists wanted to find a pleasant way to keep the elephant busy. Now, Bu Yang and Bird spent their time painting, which they seemed to enjoy. Some of their paintings even hang in museums. Music of the Stone Age How do we know that people made music thousands of years ago. Today, recording music around us. You can buy CDs of your favorite music. You can hear singers on the radio. You can even watch them on TV. Thousands of years from now, people will know about our music because they, we have made recordings of it. Thousands of years ago, recording music was impossible. So how do we know that people long ago played music? Because scientists have found flutes that are 9,000 years old. The flutes were found in China, in the Yellow River Valley. Here, scientists unearthed all sorts of treasure, including 36 flutes. This map shows the Yellow River Valley in China where the flutes were found. The flutes were made from the wing bones of a crane, a long-necked wading bird. People long ago carved and shaped the bones and put holes in them. Even more surprising was that one flute could still be played. It makes a really pleasant sound, a little thin, like a recorder, one scientist described. What is sound? Sound is kind of energy that you can hear. Sound is made when something vibrates or moves quickly back and forth. When something vibrates, it makes the air vibrate too. Vibrating air carries the sound you hear. No one knows for sure what type of music the people from the Stone Age played. Did it sound like the music of today? Did people have musical talent and perform concert? Did people sing along? We can only wonder what their music might have sounded like. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. My favorite part was uh, in the story Music of the Stone Age. 
um, that the scientists have found the flutes that are 9,000 years old. I mean, think about it. It did not spoil for 9,000 years. Even our food, like just only one month, it spoiled. Amazing, right? And also, the favorite part, my favorite part of the frozen art is when the, they said that in Canada, Quebec, in Canada, in Quebec, it's like they went to winter festival. So I, um, I, I actually had, I know what it feels like snow, but I never been to a snow carnival. So maybe next time I'll go there. And also in Elephant Artist, my favorite part was that Bu Yang and Bird would um, enjoy their art. I mean, I also enjoy art. And it's also kind of interesting that the animals like art because I never thought of that. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button and click subscribe if you're new to this channel. Bye!